Hey everybody, God bless you. Brother Brian here. Welcome back to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. And in this video, this actually is the second video on the same thing I'm going to talk about. This is a supernatural testimony of miraculous provision. The Lord had spoken to me during the night in February, the first and last name of a woman, someone I used to work with for a couple, uh, four or so years back. And the Lord spoke to me about a certain dollar amount. Now, he didn't say she needed it. He didn't say anything. All that came up in my spirit was first and last name and a dollar amount. And uh, this video was previously uploaded, but there, were, there was an issue with the video. So I had to remove it uh, because that's the way the Lord guided me. And so I'm going to put this back up because some of you may want to hear it again. And some of you have never heard it, but you're going to rejoice. It is going to bless you. I know it is. All right. So I have my notebook here. I'm going to give you the dates. I'm going to sum up everything, how it happened. And then I'm going to show you a photo my wife and I took uh, to capture the event as a memory. Amen. All right. So today is March 6th, 2022 and on February 20th. 2022. Uh, I was receiving a lot of dreams that week. My goodness, a lot of dreams. And in one of the, it's not I, technically not even a dream. Um, and it's hard to really put a word to it. But what happens many times, um, at least with me, and I know what happens with others is during the night, the Lord is ministering to my spirit. Okay, as you know, we are spirit, soul and body, the body rests and sleeps to, you know, recharge and whatnot, but our soul and our spirit are always awake, alert, active. Okay. Now, obviously our, uh, the part of our soul, that's our mind is definitely quieted because we're not awake. Our physical eyes, which is part of our body is not awake to be taken in all this stim you know, the stimulus, stimuli, whatever and all this information, right? So our soul is, our, our soul is at a calmer state. Our mind is quiet. And in this way, the Lord, many times, this is why he speaks to people in dreams, his people, even those who are not yet born again, he speaks to them. So during the night, what happened is that the Lord was communicating with my spirit and my spirit with him as happens many times. There are times where I'll wake up and I just knew that the Lord and I were talking all night, but I won't remember a single thing because he won't allow it. <laughs> That's fine. But there are times when I remember and what it feels like, it's, it's almost like I could say this and this would sum it up. Okay. Even though this is not exactly how it happens. It almost feels like, man, as I slept, there was just something on my mind all night. Okay. That in the most basic sense is what it sounds like, but it's God's spirit communicating with my spirit. And so, and so, um, that night the Lord brought up a fir the first and last name of a woman I used to work with. Okay. And he brought up a dollar amount. Okay. Now this dollar amount, is not a small amount and it's not a you know super large amount either um, for the sake of of just being wise we're going to call it a uh, abc dollar amount okay so when i refer to it in the future it'll be abc in the video um, but you'll get an, an idea of it once i begin to unwrap what happened in the testimony you'll have an idea of about how much that amount was um, and so that's all that came to me. And when I woke up, I was reflecting on my dreams at night and what the Lord had been speaking to me, showing me what I heard in the spirit, etc. And I record them. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. You know that he brought this woman. She was a cashier who used to work at the grocery store that I used to work at as well. She's an older woman. Um, if I had to say, I said 50s in the, pre the initial video, but I think it's more in the 60s, to be honest. But she just has such a such a sweet semblance. She's always she was always like a, a motherly figure, even there, though I was, you know, running the front end. I was doing customer service, self-checkout and giving the cashiers their breaks and so forth during that season in my life. 
as a part-time job when I worked there. And I always made sure to take care, take care of her as best I could. She was so, she was so proper, so loving, compassionate. Customers would wait, would come on Sundays, Saturdays, and they would wait in her long line just, just to go through to speak with her. How awesome is that? Right now, during that time, um, it was during those last few years I was at the grocery store where I was not uh, fixed on the path God wanted me. I was veering off a little bit. Now, of course, I still believed in God. I still feared God. But due to circumstances that I had been, not an excuse. I'm just saying I was away uh, uh, off the path. I'll just say it that way. And it happens to us all. Amen. So during that time, I was I didn't really speak to her about God or anything. She didn't really mention God either. We were at work, but she knew, I knew she was a righteous woman and she knew that I was a righteous man. Okay. So fast forward, this happened on February 20th, 2022. So I went downstairs. I, you know, got on my computer. I was going to get ready to start work. The Lord kept reminding me about what I had, um, what, what I heard or what was in my spirit rather. And so I decided, okay, you know what? I need, I better need to write this down and I probably should text her to say hello, how she's doing, etc. That's how I felt. So what I went ahead and did was that I texted her and I didn't get a response that day. So the next day, the Lord kept impressing it upon my heart. So I texted her again and, and uh, her name is Renee. That's her first name. And so I said, Renee, um, you know, how are you doing? You know, hope all is well. Just wanted to make sure this is your number. You came up, um, you came up to my mind. I just wanted to reach out and she reached out. She responded, which was great because that means that, okay, she didn't change her number. That's great. Um, so there's a possibility that the Lord is going to do something here. And so this was completely new to, new to me. So I was stepping out in faith. Okay. And so it turns out that I told her that my wife and I would like to visit her, you know, hey, do you still work at the grocery store where I used to work, which from our home right now is about, you know, maybe 20 minutes away, a little bit less. And she said, no, actually, I, I work at another grocery store further west, um, which was 45 minutes from where my wife and I live now. And she, you know, without going into too much detail, she said that she had to move out. Uh, she had to work there because she moved to West Virginia, like literally crossing the state. So every day she would have to cross into Virginia to go to work. Why did she move there? Uh, because her husband and I, her husband and her, she and her husband moved in with their older daughter, who unfortunately um, was left alone by the by her her mate by by the man that was in her life and she has a daughter so um i remember hearing that this that renee would confide in me during the times that i worked there about her older daughter and how she felt you know bad because she felt like she was like rebellious um and whatnot but look look how god works now all of a sudden that daughter is depend is is receiving help her parents moved in with her to help her in West Virginia because she bought a home there. She didn't want to give up the home. She has a five-year-old daughter, I believe they said. Um, it's, just, it's just amazing to see God work. So I said, okay. I said, well, yeah, we'll visit you. You know, what time do you get off, etc." And she said, oh, you don't have to come all the way down here. She's just like that. She's such a big heart. So we just said, no, no, it's okay. We're going to, you know, we're going to get out of the house. We're going to go out there. So we went there um, to visit her and guess what? We got there about 12, 15 p.m. And Renee got off, off of work at 12. So we were a little bit late, unfortunately. But as we were pulling into the parking garage, Renee was actually walking to her car. So it was like perfect timing. So she saw us, we parked, my wife and I got out. It's only the second time she met my wife. She met my wife the first time when she was my girlfriend, if I'm not mistaken. And she was very touched that we even visited her. That was like three years ago. So I hadn't seen her in about three years. So we, we stood there outside and we talked for about an hour and 15 minutes or so. So we talked till around 1.30 ish, close to that. Um, and so we just started talking and I was just, as we're talking and listening to her, catching up on like how things are going, I'm, I'm talking to the Lord within me and I'm speaking, I'm asking him to show me, to guide me. What he placed on, on my heart regarding the dollar amount, the ABC dollar amount, was to bless her with that. So 
I took it since the Lord was initiating this. I understood it as the Lord wanting me to give from the ministry funds, from the channel funds that many of you have given, right? And this is for the work of the Lord. I've already explained that before. Uh, none of that will ever be used for, for anything personal, only for the work of the Lord as he guides me. And so we took the ABC dollar amount um, just the day prior or just that morning before we left. But I just felt it in my heart. I wanted to do more. So I, I doubled it. And then at the same time, I was thinking to myself, Lord, she's such a giver. If, I, if we give it to her, if she accepts it, because we, we hope she does, because it's from you, Lord. You know, I want her to use something for herself. So I threw in an extra amount there. Uh, and later on, I reconciled that that, that was from my, um, my own funds, my wife and I. But the ministry funds, the double came, the ABC and then doubled came from the ministry funds for the Lord's work. And so we were there. We had two envelopes. One was just for her. It was written on there, used for yourself only. The other one, used for your family and your needs, etc. And so that's what the Lord placed on our heart. So we're talking with her. And literally, I didn't look at the time, but I am almost certain it was right about 1 p.m. Okay, that we presented her with the envelopes. The reason I say that is because even after we presented her, we ended up talking for about 20 more minutes or so. The bulk of our talk was the first, like a good long hour. So about 1 p.m. Now, remember that because the next day, my mom and I were texting and my mom told me something that happened to her at 1 p.m. Okay, this is so awesome. So I wanted to share that. Okay, so here we are with Renee. We said, you know, Renee, the Lord placed something on our heart. And uh, she actually began to talk about a little bit about faith and God and how, you know, just in a very general way. So I saw my opening and the Lord was showing me and revealing that to me. So I went ahead and began to talk about the Lord. And I said, I know we never really talked before, but yes, you know, God, you know, God is always with us and he is faithful and he knows our needs and he speaks in so many ways, etc. And I told her that during the night, the Lord spoke to me, her name and a blessing amount. And so we are here to deliver it from the Lord. And of course, she was like, no, 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 Brian, I, I can't accept anything. And, and, I, and then I, I was asking the Lord, like, Lord, you know, help me out here. Right. Because I don't want her to reject a blessing from God because I myself had to learn how to be a good receiver. I used to be just like her where I would say, no, 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 it's OK. And I would just the bare minimum. Well, that is a lie of the devil, a deception. May that be broken off of you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Even now, if you have dealt with that. Now, as she was saying, no, 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 I can't accept anything. I was asking the Lord to help me. And all of a sudden he brought an illustration to my um, up in my spirit. And he said, Renee, this is what the Lord is bringing up to me now. I said, just like you have such a great big heart and just like you love your daughter and your granddaughter, whom you live with now, how would you feel if you were giving them something and they wouldn't receive it? And she just stayed quiet and she understood and it softened her heart. And I said, our God is our father and he wants to bless you and he wants to do for you, which is why he spoke your name to me. And I'm grateful for this, this situation. It's amazing. This is, this is an awesome moment. So please receive this. This is not from us. This is from the Lord. We're just the vessels. And she received it. She said, okay, Brian, and she understood and she, and she didn't really push back, which I'm grateful for. And so then she was just so, oh my gosh, she was touched, she was holding back her tears, and and we just kind of kept talking a little bit. And then she was telling us, you know, about what happened with her daughter and at this point. This is where she really got into the details, and she said, yeah, you remember, Brian, that old car that I had? I think it was a pickup or, or whatnot. She's like, I had that for 18 years, I had over 200,000 miles, but I needed something reliable because I'm waking up at 3 in the morning every day to be here at work at 6 a.m. It's an hour drive one way. Oh man. And you know, she's had a lot of surgeries. I remember when she had hip surgery. So she was always very, very kind of slow to move, but such a big heart. So, you know, I've always wanted to, to, to be able to do something for her. And I, I myself was struggling financially. Um, and I'm grateful that, that, that is just a thing of the past. Um, and so I try to take the opportunity to, to be a blessing whenever possible. This is why we do the 
every 500 subscribers I do a giveaway and so forth um, and so what happened next was she said well I had to get rid of that car I had it was you know not reliable so I traded it in I, I, almost, I got almost nothing for it but I got that SUV over there and it was a very basic SUV um, I'm not even sure the year honestly um, and, and I said yeah no you're right reliability is, is important and I asked her now this she was telling us this before we gave her the funds right so before 1 p.m and she said um i wanted to ask her like how much is the car payment like i wanted to ask her that because i was thinking to myself oh my gosh lord what if the amount you told me the abc amount is exactly her car payment like i i would have been like whoa like amazing right so i wanted to ask her but i felt the lord say no do not ask her ah. so that right there is another teachable moment i had to practice self-control if that's what I felt the Lord was telling me, I needed to not go against it. So you see, even myself, that the Lord is pruning us and training us, and this is an important, practical testimony, powerful, that you can also apply to your life. These little tidbits, these secrets, these gems, these golden nuggets from the Lord. Amen. So um, I wanted to ask her, and the, the Lord you know, wouldn't let me. So then at that point, that's when we gave her the thing. We talked a little bit longer. And then I kept thinking about it and it just wouldn't escape my mind. And I said, ah, so I asked the Lord again, Lord, can I, can I, and I, can I ask her? And he said, yes, now you can ask her. I said, oh, okay. I said, uh, Renee, if you don't mind me asking, um, how much is, how much is your, your car payment? Now, the reason I brought it up again is because she said every month is, is such a struggle to pay. And that like, oh, you know, that kind of weighed on my heart. So that's when I asked the Lord. He said, yes, go ahead and ask her now. And I asked her and she said quickly like this. She said the exact amount the Lord spoke to me. ABC. So now you have an idea of the, the amount. The ABC amount was roughly what an average car uh, monthly payment is. And my wife, the first thing my wife did was, was my gosh, she, she went like this because she saw when I wrote, wrote it down. Um, and so she was, you know, really, really surprised about that. And I'm going to show you all a picture right now before I forget. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hopefully y'all can see this. A little bit of a reflection due to the window. All right, give me a second. there you go so that is miss renee isn't she sweet all right so that is um a picture that way you can have a little bit of a memory uh, visual memory there to what we were talking about and so when she said that i was like wow and she said i hope you didn't put that much in in here that better not be that what's in here now, of course, I could have said, oh, yeah, it is. Um, and my wife was like, eh, she doesn't know it's more. Um, so the Lord guided me to answer with wisdom. And I said, what's in here is what the Lord told us to give. That, that was my answer. So I thank God for giving me that answer. Um, and so, yeah, uh, we talked for about 20 more minutes or so. And then... She just, you know, she was emotional and we asked if we could pray with her. So we prayed right there in the parking lot um, and just very, very simple prayer. And we asked and we blessed her. We blessed her life. We blessed her health. We blessed her family. We blessed her vehicles. We blessed her job. We blessed her position because remember the power of death and life are in the tongue. So we used it to speak life. Amen. And so uh, that's how that went down. And. It, I mean, wow, we were astounded for days, just like, my God, wow, Lord, look what you did. Oh, thank you, Lord. And as, uh, as, oh my gosh, as I feel his presence coming on me, I am reminded to let you know, those of you who have um, at any point decided, you know, to give to this channel, um, you know, and it's in the about page, uh, the information or on any wor prophetic word the Lord gives me or any teaching or whatnot, or testimony that I have in the description where you can give on videos of other prophets and so forth I do not do not put my personal giving options there because I want to keep that separate um, and so 
Anything that you all have given since the beginning of this channel, November 29th, 2021, has been set apart and is just there untouched for these, for these exact situations. And the Lord, um, sometimes people will ask me, you know, rarely, but sometimes people will ask, or sometimes people are mentioning things in the comments. But I mean, I, I ask the Lord and I have to go by his spirit and I have to allow him to confirm things for me. And so this is what he did. And it's just an example and that you all may know you played a part in this. Those of you who have decided to give, those of you who feel you have been blessed um, by this channel, it's it's to God. I mean, to God be all the glory, always, always. And I will never stray from that. And I will always emphasize that because that is how you have God's favor on your life. You remain humble and you absolutely always give him the glory. You take zero for yourself, man. I tell you, the hand of God comes upon you and he favors you. So I'm just telling you the secrets. Take a hold of them. Begin to apply them. So let me tell you what happened with my mom there. So the next day, I uploaded that video that day, uh, which again, I had to take down. So this is a uh, redoing the video. That way there's no issues. That's all I will say about that. Um, but I have to use wisdom. And in fact, the Lord was the one who brought to my attention on the previous video that there was an issue with it. He gave me another, he gave me, um, I don't know, like a flash vision while I was sleeping and I didn't act on it for a couple days. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I hope that's not it, Lord. I hope there's no issue. Well, lo and behold, a couple days later, um, he reminded me and I had to address it. And so I had to remove it just in case to prevent issues. There wasn't a problem, but we don't want to give the enemy any room, which is why I'm doing this video again. So hopefully you all have have um, enjoyed this once again. And some of you who have never heard this, I hope you are blessed because God is willing to use his people. Right. And so he um, one of the one of my strong passions is in life, just in general, not even just in spiritual life in general. I am against doing things the hard way, the long way. If there is a way to make it simple, to make it efficient, to make it streamlined and practical. That is just something God has put in me, even at work. When I was learning things and, and they were showing me things on how to do, you know, documents and forms and, and the process and everything. First, I didn't know anything. So I had to learn the entire process to learn the black and white. The white, what is what are you supposed to do? The black, these are no-nos, don't do these. So once I got a good overall understanding, then I started realizing places where I can make things more efficient. And I started just, you know, the Lord would give me ideas and I would begin to apply it and it makes my life easier. <laughs> and then I began to share a few with some other people and they adopted it and it's just easier. So again, I like making things, making things easy. And so applying this to, to us being here and this channel, I want to, to show you practical ways that you can live for the Lord in the Lord, understand how he works, recognize his voice. His voice is not always something you hear. His voice can be seen like visions. Those are things you see, and yet it is his voice. It could be uh, an inner witness of the Holy Spirit in so many other ways. So the next day, um, before I forget, my mom told me that she, she's such a wonderful testimony. She saw my video on YouTube and she said, um, I don't know what time that all was happening, son, but she said around 1 p.m. the presence of God came upon her and she just started crying and she just started praising God. And she said, she said this was like nighttime at this point. Um, oh, later that night, I think it was, or the next night. Anyway, at least several hours since she had watched the video, but she said it happened at 1 p.m. is when this the presence of God came upon her. And I was like, oh my God. Wow, Lord. Somehow she was, for lack of better words, don't be afraid, they're just words. She was tapped in. She was in sync. She was spiritually connected. And the Lord allowed her to feel in some way 
this woman, this situation where I was being blessed. She didn't know what it was. She just knew the presence of God came on her. She was crying. Her heart was being touched and she began to praise God and praise him and just lift up his name and glorify him. And she said it was 1 p.m. And I said, oh, man, I didn't look at the time, but I'm almost certain that that was the exact time that it happened. So look at all God did and look at how so how many of you have been a part of this because you've decided to give. So anyway, um, that I'm just letting you know to know that God sees everything you do. And yet God knew her need. And used me, but I know he has will and is using many of you as well. We just have to learn to perceive him. And again, this was new for me, but I just I just kind of went with it, took a step of faith. And, you know, I came up from very humble beginnings. And even my most of my adult life, I was working three, four jobs, um, barely making it. And all of that trained me to be satisfied with the, the, the minimal. And to be honest, I, I'm not a person that really buys things for myself. My wife and I, we barely eat out and we almost never order food. Like I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, I do that every week. I do that. Well, I'm not saying that's the problem, but that may be the reason why funding is low sometimes. Sometimes we just have to look at what we're doing. We cook almost every day. Um, we're very simple. I mean, that's just our nature, but it, it also doesn't mean that you can't. Just, just be wise because sometimes finances are tight and we have to be honest and realistic with ourselves. Where is the money going? You know, are you the type of person that's going to Starbucks five days a week? Well, that right there is, you know, 30, 40 bucks that could be used per week. I mean, that could be used for something else that you're, you're saying you need, right? So anyway, everyone's at a different point. It's understandable, but, um, so finances do not control me, but I'm grateful to the Lord that no more credit card debt as of last year, uh, car paid off. Um, my car at the 2014 and, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you something funny here. Since I work from home now, um, and I'm grateful to the Lord cause look at the contrast, right? When I used to work three, four jobs and now I work from home. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It's like a bit of justice there, I suppose. Um, but I'll give you a funny, uh, a funny story, uh, a funny thing God said to me. So I've been, you know, wanting to change my car just, just cause right. 2014, I've had the car, it's paid off and I enjoy not having a car payment or whatnot. But anytime I'm thinking about, Hmm, I wonder Lord, you know, you bless your people. I, I think I'd like, to, I'd like to have this car or that, maybe that car, et cetera. And I can't really decide. And then it's, it's almost like the Lord, like I hear him saying, where are you going to go? And then with that, he reminds me, Brian, you work from home. You don't go out except groceries once a week. Where are you going to go? But he says it in a way that makes me laugh. <laughs> and I just laugh and I'm like, yeah, okay, Lord. <laughs> anyway, maybe I just think that's funny, but I think that's funny. Um, but yeah, if I do get uh, a newer car or whatnot at some point, it, it will be because of the work and the income that we have through work and so forth. Um, as I said before, personal and ministry is absolutely separate. And, and the Lord knows that, which is why his favor and his blessings come. So anyway, that is that. I wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that from time to time you will come back and listen to this, maybe even share it with someone else. So that is that. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you very soon. Make sure you hit subscribe. If you want, you can hit it in the middle of this video now, or you can, uh, and you can check out the videos to the left and to the right, which will be up here just in case you missed them. Amen. God bless you. My love to you all in Jesus Christ. Be with the Lord and he will absolutely be with you.